So, I don't know. With that, I, I'm kind of trailing off you here from the last episode. I'm going to tell you that right now. On uh, what I'm trying to think what you did last episode. I know you, you covered uh, basically it was the end of the year. Right at the end of the year, for those that don't know. Now, we're at the very beginning of the year, which leads to me going to the gym and running on the treadmill and with all the other resolutioners. So I decided, all right, fine. I'll set my uh, grab bag for this week to be goals, what they look like, setting them, following through with them, why people go basically two weeks to the gym and then quit. <laughs> because there's quite a bit of that, let's all be honest. Um, and I think just to first get started, you have to ask yourself, what is goal setting? Honestly, some people have trouble sticking to goals because they don't distinguish their goals from more casual everyday self-improvement efforts and I think that's a big thing to note because you look down the road you say where do I want to be in 10 years where do I want to be in five where do I want to be in two where do I want to be in one what am I going to be doing in the next quarter you know half year out um, what am I going to do today and what I kind of distinguished with goal setting is you have to have the one year uh, or basically the yearly but you have to have the 10 year I think the vision is what the t I describe as the 10 year you, you can have a morphing 10 year goal but if you make it too lofty sometimes you get into the all right this is never gonna you know wow did I way underestimate myself I'm here in a year or oh my gosh I'm never gonna be able to I'm, I'm not walking on the moon I don't even know how space works uh so basically with goal setting uh just because <laughs> getting back into what I have here, uh, not to tangent off too much, uh, just because you decide to start running every day doesn't necessarily make it a conscious goal. Uh, so basically, I want to get back into what goal setting means. And I, this this one was copied. This first sentence here, this first show note was copied. And I kind of took it personally because I was honestly just running with no purpose in mind. I would go out. I'd run like two miles, three miles, and just call it. I'd be like, oh that's great. And I always said, Oh, okay, I'm going to run a marathon, you know, no date in mind, no, nothing in mind, no heavy training days. It was like every day it would be like, all right, I'm going to go out and walk. I'm going to go out or, you know, I'm going to go out three days a week and I'm going to run. And I'd set a like time, just be like, all right, I want to run this. And I'm no track star like you, Andrew. I'll just admit that right now. Uh, I'm going to go out and run it three miles in like 30 minutes, you know, something easy, right? just say 10 minute mile fine you know <laughs> a full year passes I never brought the goal down I was like I should have been by the end of the year running you know, close to a 20 minute 3k but there I am at the end of the year just running like a 28 minute mile it's like wait hang on that could have come way down if you were conscious about what you were doing instead you just decided to go out and not pay attention to it so I'm not going to talk about OKRs. I'm not going to talk about anything corporate. I'm talking about personal goal setting just as almost a refresher. I think everyone's familiar with this at this point. Everyone knows what SMART goals are. Everyone knows kind of where they want to set their goals, what those look like. But So you have you have the second paragraph here. What do you what do you mean by that? Uh it's purposeful. So you have to go you have to have kind of a purpose for it. Uh it's explicit. Obviously, for, there's an for explicit goal setting. Yeah, goal setting. Yeah. Goal okay. setting is a purposeful and explicit process that starts with identifying new objectives, a new objective skill or project you want to achieve. Then you plan for achieving it and you work to complete it. Basically, you can't just aimlessly meander with daily tasks and then expect at the end of the year that they piled up into something important mm. because usually that's unfortunately not how it works. You have to mm. have some kind of goal, right? So. I really liked uh, purposeful um, actions have to have purpose, right? There's no, you're not, there's no sense in doing something without a purpose, uh, which kind of brings us back to, I think like the first or second episode, it always, somehow it always keeps coming up the autonomy, ma mastery and purpose discussion. Mm -hmm. You know, why am I doing this? What's the purpose of it? Am I making the decision on it? Um, yeah. The three keys of motivation. Yeah. It's like, why? Yeah. What what motivates me to do something? Well, you know, having autonomy over doing it, becoming having mastery at it, you know, getting getting mastery of it's it, the, and, and, it, and purpose yeah. the purpose it, of it. And really, with goal setting, it boils down to the two at the end. It's achieving it and completing it, which are basically the same thing. We're working towards completing it. But with that being said, um, smart goals. I 
it's something I always try to refer to because usually I'll set some goal. Uh, I, I set most of my goals in a, in a cam board and I set the dates for like 1231, honestly. So I woke up, uh, I kind of set them in the first week and I set them for 1231. I don't set them in a calendar. Don't ask me why. It's because if it, you know, if something happens on the board and I need to move it, I can't, you know, Yeah. <laughs> I can say, look, I planned for to do this this year, but guess what? It's not happening. I'm not going to do it this I year. I mean, but. specifically to that, I mean, this year I was hoping to get like a, what did I shoot for? I, th- I wanted to shoot for somewhere around a 21, 22 minute 5k. Like I, yeah. I thought that was pretty achievable. Um, at the at the very end of the summer, like early on into the fall, I hit about a a seven minute mile, which is right on target. Awesome. Yeah, right, right yeah. on target. Uh, right after that, uh, tore my hamstring and busted my foot. S- same same day. Yeah. Right, and I'm limping home like this sucks. <laughs> right, you know totally. Cause, Cause like there goes there goes that um and and you know having made progress towards it right it it, it feels frustrating having set that up and 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 push that especially if I were to have that in a calendar forget about it and then the end of the year comes up and and, and like... now I just feel <laughs> that pain again <laughs> more pain. <laughs> Yeah, so, and, well, I'm not going to wrap it up just yet, but honestly, next thing is, I'll I'll make these two sections brief, you know, you, everyone knows what SMART goals are, right, you know. I would would love to hear it again. Specific, your goal has to be specific, right, you can't just go out and say, I'm going to do something better, it has to be explicit, like, I forget the good examples, it's like, uh, not smoking every day was a good example, because that's explicit, right, you can sit down and say, did you smoke a cigarette? You know, did you smoke a pack of cigarettes today or did you not? And it's like, no, I did not. Okay, great. Explicitly, you are one for one on your talk. You know, <laughs> you did it. <laughs> and maybe that ropes more into measurable too, right? You can measure that. Yeah. Uh, the next one is attainable, um, which... Well, the measurable being the second measurable one, being, actually. Yeah, yeah, measurable being the second one. And I think that's kind of where I roped in. I think I roped in. Uh, mm-hmm. So specific is... I'm going to smoke one pack or zero pack cigarette a day. Fine. Measure would be, okay, <laughs> it's not, I'm your goal can't be, I'm going to smoke less because you can't measure that. Yes, so exactly. that's where the goal is. Exactly. Uh, attainable, obviously it, terrible. I, I don't know why I pick smoking, but I'm not a smoker. <laughs> um, attainable. <laughs> so it's like, okay, are you just going to cut cold and do this? Yeah. Um, or it's like, is my goal to go to, if my goal is to go to space, and I'm not an astronaut. That's is that really an attainable goal for me to say I'm going to do in a year? Exactly. Uh, maybe in 2050 it might be, but not right now. Sure. Uh, re- same with realistic. You know, it has mm-hmm. to be realistic. And then time bound, I think, mm-hmm. is one of the key ones. You have to kind of do it. You have to kind of choose well, a timeline for this. Yeah, to harp on that time bound thing again, that is to me the point at which you can not give up right but you can declare failure you know and and, and as and that's a, perfect as that's a method perfect. for rebirth yeah yeah because honestly what the time bound does it says you're gonna do it within this timeline right and so if you make the goal i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna run a 21 minute mile in half a year that means you have now until june that doesn't mean well if i give myself a year and that's where I brought, I want to bring back all the way to the other article. Work gives you, work is, work will take the amount of time you give it. Yeah. So it's like, you have to set the goal realistically within that time frame. Because if mm-hmm. you give it until a year, it's like, okay, well, I could do this in half. Am I, does that mean I'm just going to sit on the goal for six months and then start to do it for the last six? Or does that mean I'm going to do it now and finish it by June per se? Um, so the time bound, I think, is really the most important honestly, and making it uh, measurable uh, would be the two for me. If you don't set goals, that's 
poor life management. Right. At that right? point. Right. Uh, you you have to have something that you're you're going for, right? In in order to move forward, you have to have something you're you aim for. Are have going a to goal. Right. Have a thing to address. Have a thing to make better. Right? Whether it's in your life or someone else's life. It doesn't have to all be about you, right? It could be that you're trying to make someone else's life better, your family life's better, your spouse's life better, right? That that could be one of your goals. And that's that's fine, you know, and, and that goal can be specific and measurable and attainable and realistic and time bound right and that's that's fine but don't slack off and just let life happen right, right? have some kind of a goal if it, it gives life purpose to have goals right and and if if you're there if you need help you know defining your goals if you need help coming up with your goals if you you know whether that be business or personal at this point you know it it doesn't really matter right i mean there there are plenty of people you know in the world that you can sit down and and will help you out right and and it's a matter of talking these things through of of understanding where you're coming from understanding what where you want to go and, and, and the goals you set. And, and yeah, there are good guiding principles like these smart goals, making them measurable, making them time bound. Right. If, if you haven't ever created a goal before, you know, you may not know that you're setting yourself up for failure if you don't do that from the start. Right. Exactly. So, so if, if that's something that you're racking your brain about, you know, give us a call. We're, we're here to sit down, whether it's fitness goals, whether it's business goals, whether it's, you know, whatever. I'm more than happy to, to, to reach out a helping hand to do this. Whether, you know, whether we're looking at, you know, stuff at, at, at our Compose, you know, I, I love yeah. my board systems. You hear us talking about these all day. I don't I'm converted, use... honestly. Yeah, I'm converted to the board system. I said you got to write the goal down. Where did I write it down? I didn't write it on my calendar. Wrote it on my board. But there yeah, you go. go ahead. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and and you know, I, I think this is a tool that helps people. If if you have a tool that that helps you as well, that's that's great, right? Let's make sure that we're doing these things. We're making life worth living, right? And and. I'm more than happy, even if it doesn't, you know, it's not something about our Compose. I, I'd much rather it be because I, I think these tools help, right? But I'd be more than happy to sit down and, and, and go over go over anything like that with you. So reach out. I mean, the contact, contact uh, form is on our website, ourcompose.com, right? Sign up for the, the, the mailing list if you want or, or just reach out. I mean, we love this stuff. We live and breathe this stuff, right? And and we will continue to be here doing this. And with that, we hope you enjoyed this final run deck episode. Thank you. Be safe. And we'll see you all in two weeks. Bye, everybody.